we are doing hive inspections today. Thought we would kind of try and get into them and bring folks along who subscribe to the channel. So uh, it's end of August, getting ready to go into September. Just want to do a hive check. Uh, just checked our hive number one, which is over there. A uh, little surprise what we found in there is that they have taken most of the honey out of their upper hive body, which was nearly full, and moved it, or the honey is now in the first honey super, and there is almost, there's no honey left in the, uh, in that hive, there's no, almost no honey in the upper hive body on that one, and the honey is all in the, was in the first super, and they have since, I mean, there was some honey left in it on that one, but they've almost moved it completely, uh, moved brood up in here. That the, the frames were all full of brood. There was a couple on the outer edge that still had honey in them, but uh, lots of larvae, lots of capped brood in that one. So that was kind of unexpected. This is the hive that we did a walk away split on a little over a month ago. So we'll go show you that hive. Um, so we took the queen from this hive. They successfully requeen. Um, they had plenty of honey in here. And just checking on this, this was a, a honey super. We stuck in here at that time and there was no drawn out comb. So you can see they've been pretty busy uh, and they actually are drawing out comb on here. No, no honey in here yet, but I would have been surprised this time of year if they did have any. So just a quick look at some of these frames. Just seeing that, uh, storing a little bit. I can see some, they are storing some nectar in here. Uh, not, not completely drawn out. But uh, let's get this super off. And, sorry, D. Let's get this super off and see what is going on down here. I haven't seen, the last time I had been in this frame, I didn't see that the queen was, we found the queen, but we did not see if she was laying, she had not started laying yet. So, um, but you can see in here in this upper hive body, these are nearly completely full of, look at that, of honey. Oh, got a queen cell. Oh, what that's all about. Is it open? Okay. So, you get all that honey. Uh, and they are drawing out, even on these new frames that we just set in. When we did that walk away split, you can see we put these frames, the ones that say 2016 on them, and they have completely drawn these out. If I grab this one, I mean, it's on the outermost edge, but you can see they have completely drawn that out and they're filling it with honey. So that is great. That's what we're hoping to see. They're working hard. Uh, but this is, I can just see in here, these are completely full of honey. All right, let's get, I think let's try to get this off and see if we can see if she is down, if we can find the queen or at least hopefully see that she is down here and laying. She is laying some. Hopefully what we're gonna see, what I'd like to see is some capped, brood in here at least so let's just pull go right to one of these middle frames I'm not doing a super full inspection here just wanting to get in and see if they are ready for winter ah, yes that's what we want to see the queen cell is still there, but that's what we want to see is that uh, because the last time we were in here, there was, they had, uh, when they requeened, there was no capped brood. And I don't know if you can see, Isaac, with the camera, you can see larvae now in these, down in these cells and down in all of those cells. 
there is larvae. So she successfully mated and a little queen cell there though. Still remnant, I guess. But uh, yeah, lots of larvae. So excellent. That's what we hoped to see today was to get in here and see that they had drawn out and she was um, well, see if they drew out I want to see if they drew out have drawn out any comb on this new frame or what exactly they're doing with it. They're working on it. Uh, let's check this frame see what's on here. Excuse us bees. Very excited. So we successfully split this hive and they requeened. Yes, look at all that capped brood. That's awesome. Uh, so laying beautifully. Look at how full that is. Um, same on this side. Beautiful pattern. A few drone cells down there. And these are, have got, still got a lot of larvae around them, so. All right, that is fantastic. So, close this back up, and then we'll go check out the hive that we took the queen away from and see how they are doing. Okay, this is hive number three. So this is the hive we took the queen away from when we did the, the walk away split and mostly just checking to see how they're doing in there because this has been a super, super productive hive or queen for us. She was certainly over there. So the question would be is if they are, this super didn't really have a lot of drawn out comb in it. So uh, what would be, question would be is have they drawn out comb and are they storing any honey up here be kind of the first question which we're going to see here in just a second they've definitely drawn out comb question is are they putting any honey in it yep they're almost it's almost full of honey they haven't capped it yet but they are working hard you can see that Every frame in this super is now drawn out and has honey on it. So let's pull this off and see what's in the upper hive body. Because if they capped this and was, they still had honey down here, we could theoretically. Pull some honey. But these are all. Oh, they have skipped right over. So this was a when we moved them. I just put this. So we had that super just on top of this body after we did the split, and then a couple of weeks ago came back and added this hive body on and it was there was nothing drawn out on these frames I mean, they're brand new frames foundations so um, they are starting to they're starting to draw out some comb on here but you can see they have not done a lot with it so they are going straight up to the top and um, storing all their honey up there Let's see what's in the, let's see how the, the hive looks. And these guys have been I don't know why, but since the since the good bees right there. Huh? Yeah. What? Yeah. Since the split, these bees have 
sometimes been a little ornery. And uh, hopefully they're storing some honey down here too. Lots of honey. So these guys get a little bit more active. <laughs> not sure why. They were not like this before. You can see the hive we just came out of was pretty calm. But these bees came from. Uh, so let's get in here and see what make sure she is still make sure she is still laying and that we have some brood in these frames this is a brand new frame so just put this in after the split it out and they have some honey on here. I'd like to see more I would like to see more brood down in down in here. Maybe one of these old frames. Okay, good. That's what we want to see. So Still good pattern. Who's her up there? What? Is there a queen cell in the corner? Yeah, an open queen cell. It's probably an old one. And that side looks great. So she is still going strong. This is the bee we got from a nuke in the spring. So I think what we will, it looks like what we will end up doing with this hive is to get them through the winter is that I'll end up pulling that, um, end up pulling that super or pulling that frame back off. I'm going to leave it on there just so that they'll dry out some, hopefully dry out some comb in that hive body between now and when the temperature cools down or at least get a start on drawing it out so then in the spring we can put it back on there but we'll end up putting that super back on here for the winter so it looks like they've got some honey in here as well as some honey in that super and then that's how we'll um set them up for the winter but yeah in the meantime we'll just leave this on here, uh, at least through the goldenrod flow now and the crepe myrtles and other things that are blooming and hopefully that they can continue to continue to draw out comb in this thing. And even if they don't use it, uh, at least we can store it with comb on it for the winter. So, all right, put this back on. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along as we inspect our hives. Yeah, things look really good. 
didn't see any anything that looked bad or ominous and just looking at the bees quickly while we're in there didn't see any mites um, or uh, really didn't see any hive beetles or anything else so they're doing really well so we'll uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching god bless